Here's a demonstration of the Sign Wizard 7 effects library. The effects library is a way to save multiple effects uh, to be used again in the future. So to demonstrate how this works, we'll create some text here. And we'll go ahead and uh, change the color here to blue. And then we'll actually weld the text together. And using Sign Wizard 7's paragraph text, we can actually go in here and say auto weld. And so that will uh, weld these letters together. Now, the first thing that we'll do uh, is create an outline. And so over here in the color tab, I can create the first outline, give it a percentage of the height, and give it a color. So we'll make that outline yellow. And then I'll click here on the next outline. I can create a second outline. Uh, I could also create a third outline, but in this case, we'll do two outlines. We'll make the outside outline black. And then I'll do another effect, which is to create a simple soft shadow behind this lettering. So I can move that shadow, position that shadow uh, in the angle that I want. Click on Done. Now I'll go ahead and go into the Effects menu again and add an easy bevel. And so bevel is a feature where you can select a number of different uh, options here, as well as presets. So I selected the slight hard preset, which creates a nice hard edge for the bevel. Now I'll continue and select a gradient blend. And so the gradient blend enables me to select multiple colors uh, within the blend. In this case, I'll do sort of the same family of blue uh, a lighter blue on top and a darker blue on the bottom. This uh, can be angled, it can be straight, it can be horizontal, vertical. Um, so just showing a few ways to adjust that. So now I have this effect. I have two outlines, a soft shadow uh, and a blend and a bevel. What I'll do now is click on add in the effects tab. And so I've now created a preset of these effects over here in the effects tab. So now I'll continue and actually change the copy. So after I've added all these effects, I can still go in and change the text. So now I've changed the text, and I'm going to go ahead and space it back out. So even though I had previously welded the text, I can still change the font, I can still change the spacing. So here I've changed the font to sundown, which is a little bit more appropriate for the hot salsa. And instead of the gradient, I'll now put an image fill inside of this lettering. So I go to the image fill option and I can scroll down until I find the appropriate image, this uh, flame. I have options to scale this bitmap as well as adjust uh, the brightness level, the saturation, the hue, the contrast. Um, when I'm done, I click on done. So now I have this flame inside of the hot salsa text. One other thing is I'll change the bevel to uh, a little bit of a different size so that the bevel pops out more now that we have a, a thicker stroke letter. And then another change I'll make is instead of doing a soft shadow, I'll go ahead and create a glow. And so a glow will come out evenly um, all around the letters. And so I'll go ahead and just make a yellow glow It'll increase the thickness of that glow. And in order to see this glow a little bit better, I'll add a black rectangle uh, behind the lettering. And I'll go ahead now and add this set of effects into the effects library by clicking on Add. So now I have two different sets of effects that I've added into the effects library. So here, I've now, I'm now switching simply by selecting the object in the effects library and double clicking I can then change the currently selected object on the screen to have the effects that I've previously designed. So the final step in this job would be to create the dynamic contour cut path and so you can see here that I have a dotted line and I'm creating a little bit of a gap uh, around this lettering for the soft shadow and so that becomes my my cut path so that's how we can use the effects library 
to create multiple effects. I can then reuse uh, these effects for a future job. So that's uh, one of the terrific features of Sign Wizard 7.